Hi guys, welcome back to Brown's Boutiques. I am Megan and today I'm going to be doing a video on a baby blanket that I'm making for a friend of mine. She recently found out she's expecting her baby number two and it's a girl and so I went yesterday and bought um, this yarn for her and I approved the color with her and everything. She's really excited about it. And so the yarn I'm going to be using today is Yarn Inspirations, sorry, Burnett Baby Blanket and the coloring is Baby Grays, if it will focus right there. In case you want to use this for a blanket yourself, there's all the information you need. And it's very soft, it's bulky yarn. It's a super bulky actually, it's a six worsted weight. And I'm going to be using actually, I believe it's a K hook. I've already started the blanket because I wanted to get a good measurement for it. Oh, sorry, it's a nine. I do apologize. Nine, if it will focus. Nine millimeter, there you go. It's an N hook. And so I've already started a little bit, as you can see here. I'm doing double crochet. I don't know why it looks slanted, um, but just straight double crochet. I already went ahead and I started a foundation chain for it. And I have two skeins of this, you'll see here. I got two big ones to last a little bit. I think I'll be using about four altogether. I just got two because that's all that Walmart had at the time, uh, the one I went to. And so I thought I'd go ahead and get a good start on it. I have a table today, yay! Uh, so I may be using a table um, to do filming for now on. There's more room because I was doing it on my desk before, so there's more room, especially since I'm gonna be doing, I've got a lot of bigger projects. This gives me plenty of room to spread out and work on the projects without having to be like like this much room between me and my computer. So I hope it'll be a good video for you guys today. I'm going to be just doing, uh, showing you guys how I'm working on it. I'm not doing any kind of special pattern with this. I know there are a ton of baby blanket ideas out there, but I made one for her first son. He's about a year and a half, I think, maybe not quite. Uh, I made him one and it's uh, it was green blue and white, maybe a little bit of black. And so she loved that one, he loves it, she said. And so I asked her if I could make her another one for this daughter that she has. And so, yeah, so I'm just gonna be showing you a little bit I'm working on it with. And so let me aim the camera down a little bit more. Gonna have to get used to working on a table. So there we go. But with the bulky yarn, if I can zoom in a bit here. Give me a moment to just get adjusted here. All right, there we go. So here is the start of it. I believe I did 68 stitches for the foundation chain. And then I went in the third hook, not third hook, <laughs> third chain from the hook. It's been a while since I've done a video, guys, sorry. And just did double crochet. And it's turning out very nice. Again, this yarn is very soft. You don't even need to wash it really before you give it as a gift. I mean, you can if you want to, but it's so super soft and it lasts a while. I make my blankets for babies a little big. Um, I have a doll that's kind of the size of a newborn that I kind of go based on, or if I find a pattern I like, I go with it. So this is 68, so it's a little bit bigger, but it will last a while. And so like I have one for my son that I made oversized when he was born, and he still has it. Of course, he's five now, so he's definitely... Too, small, uh, too big for it, but he still has it. He calls it mommy's special blanket, so. All right, so onto the video here. As you can see, there are the Vs on top of the double crochets. So I'm just going through, and again, taking my hook. And the thing with bulky yarn is sometimes it's hard to find the stitches. And of course, it's white on this section. This is multicolored. It's gray, pink, and white, so. I don't know what's off with my lighting today, sorry guys. But it's very pretty, very soft. So, you take your yarn. I'm yarning over, because I'm doing a double crochet. Find that next stitch, it's right there. You kind of just have to feel for it. Yarn over, you have three loops on your hook. I can't talk today. Pull over, pull through the two. Yarn over, pull through two. I've also had to work two 11 hour shifts the last couple days so my sleep is like I'm very sleep deprived um but that's the joy of my job so helping out other people um trying to get the work done so again you're gonna go on over 
insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. And I just kind of pull it a little bit. But, and the foundation chain, as I've stated before in a lot of projects, it's usually the hardest to get through is that first row. Um, especially with bulky yarn, it's easy to lose the stitches. But if you just feel for them, you'll find them every time. And as long as you keep those straight, your first row will look great. Just take your time with it, especially if you're using bulky for the first time. I've done a couple blankets with bulky, a couple scarves with bulky, so I'm pretty familiar with it. I actually tried to use a bigger hook. I tried to use, here I'll show you. It's a 10 millimeter, but it doesn't have much room here, which is normally not a bad thing because it stops the yarn from going down. But as you can see with this, it's a lot of space on there that is taken up by the yarn itself. So it didn't really work for me. I couldn't really keep going really well on it. So I went down a size. And this is a, just a regular hook, crochet hook. And it's a lot better for me for this kind of project. So try out different sizes. See which one works best for you. Uh, if you want to go by what's recommended on the label for the for the yarn, that's fine. It's just I have found sometimes it's easier, especially if you're doing like a project like this, to go a little bit bigger. I think they said an eight hook. I don't have an eight hook. So I went with nine. I like going a little bigger. It kind of makes it more oversized, a little bit more slouchy. And so that's usually what I go with. So, but yeah. And so like I said, I think I did 68 stitches across just to make it a little bit bigger. And then I went third chain from the hook. Excuse me. And so then just go on through. And I'm really excited to make this for her. She liked the other one so much. And I love making projects like these for people. I always ask now if it's okay for me to make them projects because some people don't want one. <laughs> and so I always ask before and I always get color approval unless they're like, oh, well, I like purple. So any kind of coloring purple is great. Or I like blue or green. And I'm like, okay, cool. But with something like this, especially since people can be really particular on colors they want for their babies, or if they want something to match like their nursery, because the other one I made for her actually matched the nursery really well, she said. It was kind of like the same coloring, so that was kind of just a coincidence. So that was nice. But I'm excited this will give me something to do. I love big projects like this because they take up a lot of time, but I like it because then I can just watch my shows, or hang out with my kid and I can work on this while I'm doing it because it's kind of you know once you do something so many times it's repetitive and so you can just sit watch a movie watch a movie with your kids or your husband and just crochet away and the time goes by really quickly and she's due in November so it gives me plenty of time to make this because it's just now you know about ending of June so I should get this done in plenty of time for her to have it so that'll be good. But like I said, I'm probably going to use, I think I used four skeins for her sons. So I may use the same amount for this one. I don't know yet. But it's come along really well. You can kind of see the change in colors. I love the variegated yarn so much. I know I've said that a billion times in these videos, but it's just so true. The interesting patterns it comes up with. But yeah, I'm getting through. I'm about maybe not quite halfway on the foundation chain here. And then at the end, I'm going to chain two. I believe I'll chain two. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, two or three. And then just start double crocheting around again. And just keep going like that until I get to the length I want. I will probably post more videos on the update of this just to show you the progress on this. Here or there. And just let you guys know how it's going. And if there's any kind of issues I've come up with. Um, and if you guys have any questions on it, you guys can definitely let me know in the comment section below. I'm hoping to start posting more videos. I know I keep saying that. Um, but I went to go visit family. Uh, family came up last weekend, my brother. And so I kind of took the week, the, the weekend to just kind of spend time with family. And the next weekend is 4th of July. Definitely want to spend time with my family. Um, enjoying the holidays as much as we can. And just trying to enjoy life. And like I said, I've been working a lot of hours. So I've been trying to get a lot of rest. Um... My job has a very high turnover, so a lot of people quit. 
and a lot of people then they're getting sick but not with the covid they've just been getting sick because of like the weather and things like that or injuries that they get on the job that happens our job can be kind of dangerous i actually fell last week on my job i had mopped a floor in our lobby area of the building we clean and it was barely wet not not a lot but my foot my feet just went out from under me and i fell hard on my knees so that hurt real bad they're still kind of tender um, I'm okay though I didn't hit my face or anything thankfully but it was more of embarrassing than an actual like pain so it's just been helping out a lot with any kind of people that haven't been able to come to work so but I'm just thankful for my job still I tell you guys that on almost every video I'm thankful I've been able to work through this COVID um, especially with my husband off work right now so it's been a very big blessing to be able to continue to work and got the promotion and everything. Lord's definitely providing. And so I'm very, very happy about that. I'm trying to finish this row and I keep talking and we know how that does with me that I can't crochet and talk at the same time. Uh, so I'm gonna finish, try and finish off this row with you guys real quick. Sorry if this is a longer video, but with it being a long foundation chain, cause it is for a blanket, they're gonna be longer. So it may take a little bit more to do a row. But I just wanna show you guys the full as much as I can of the row so I'm um, gonna just keep on crocheting here hope you guys can see this pretty well but like I said once you get the go of it just feel for it and you'll find those stitches no problem you'll get used to it as you go along but like I said, hardest row is always the first one they do get easier after that Sorry, okay. I just had to admire it for a moment there. <laughs> this yarn is so pretty. It's gonna be a perfect baby blanket for a little girl. It's kind of that classic little girl coloring of the gray and the pink. So it's girly, but not too girly. I think she's really gonna enjoy it. She's gonna love being snuggled up in this on a cold, chilly day or fall day, and hopefully she can enjoy it for a few years. And Maybe keep it for a future generation if she has a daughter herself, you know, or has a granddaughter, you know. Kind of just keep it in the family. Things like these are really great heirloom projects to make. They really turn out well for those. Almost done. A few more here and then we'll be done with the first row. I'm trying to find that stitch can be such a pain in the butt. Make sure you don't skip a row, like skip a stitch. Sometimes that happens. So much yarn. That's another thing. Bulky yarn can get worked up real quick. And used up real quick, so just be aware of that when you're making a project with it. But it's so worth it to get results like this. There it is. I found it. We got it. Don't worry. Few more here. You may hear um, my son is watching his tablet out in the living room, so you may hear some weird noises. <laughs> That's from his videos he watches. So just ignore those. I'm trying to keep my yarn straight here. Sorry if I've gone out of frame at any point in time during this. I'm still getting first time using a table, so I'm trying to figure out the camera 
setting right now. So I've tried to keep it in frame. If not, it's just straight crochet, a uh, double crochet. So, yep, not hard. It's what most of my videos are. If you're following along or gonna try it yourself, it's just double crochet, nothing fancy schmancy. All right, last stitch, yay! All right, there we go, guys. There is the first row for this beautiful baby blanket. I'm gonna show you. I can't show it all in one frame. There we go. Yep, just double crochet, and then you're just gonna turn your work. I'm probably gonna do two or three, I'm not sure yet. And then you just keep on going across. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Sorry it was a little long. I hope you guys uh, will come back to see progress on these and see new videos that I post. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and upcoming weekend. Enjoy it. Get out and enjoy it if it's nice where you're at. I don't know how the weather is going to be here yet, and I do work this weekend, so I probably won't get much time outside. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you do uh, like it, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe. Comment down below with any questions you have or suggestions for other videos. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.